Uh, attention duelists, Master Duel Monday, watch and learn, 123, easy as, ABC. Let's get right into it. Fan list is getting a little bit of an update, nothing that I really care about. So, let's hit the rando button, and see what's waiting for. Hope y'all are doing a okay. We got branded. Activates fusion deployment. Opponent activates max C in response. Let's see how far duelist A takes this. Deployment showing Grand Winol, bringing out Blizzard Cartesia. Normal summon Alibur, adding branded and high spirits to hand. Activate branded and high spirits. Fawn of Albaz is shown, sending away Albion. The fusion monster to add Albion the Shrouded Dragon. Shrouded Dragon effect. Send away Branded Retribution. Put itself back in the deck. Draw a card. Gets Triple Tactics Thrust. Banish Retribution. To put Brandon High Spirits back in the hand. Activate Triple Tactics Thrust. Setting Fusion Duplication. Sets Brandon High Spirits. During the end step, Albion will set Branded in red. That was a effective way to play around the Maxi. Only did one special summon. Still put up three cards in the back row. Built up his resources. And they are ready to go. Opponent draws. Activate Sign at Mining. Pitching Salaman Great Jack Jaguar, adding Salaman Great Gazelle. Use Gazelle Effect because they have a Salaman Great in the graveyard, so it can summon itself. Brandon High Spirits will chain. Showing the Cartesian hand. Send away Grenguinol. Pitch Cartesia. Add Fallen of Albaz. Gazelle is then summoned. It's on Summon will activate. Grenguinol will chain because the monster was special summoned by the opponent's effect. Vanishes itself. Brings out Guiding Quem. Gazelle sends away Foxy. Quem's effects send away Branded Fusion. Gazelle will then blink itself away for Salamandrate Balin. Cartesia will, er, Quem will use her effect, targeting the Fallen of Albaz. Opponent will activate Max C, targeting the card that Quem just targeted. Red and Red chains targeting that Fallen of Albaz. Let's see how this resolves. Albaz goes back to the hand. Albaz and Alubur will then fuse, both being banished. Make Lubellion the Searing. Called by will whiff. Guiding Quem will also whiff. Lubellion will now have its on summon, pitching Fallen of Albaz. Fusing the banished Fallen of Albaz with the banished Grenguinol to make Mirror Jade. Player uses Code of Soul, if, because they control Link Monster, they can summon it. Then they can activate its effect to a Link Summon, a Salamangrate Monster. They can use one Salamangrate Link Monster with the same name. So it is essentially a stand-in for the field spell. Phalanx and Code of Soul will then make SP Little Knight. SP will activate its effect, targeting Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade will chain, send away Rindbrum. And Little Knight will chain to that, targeting Cartesia. And Cartesia will chain to that, with her own effect to fuse. Cartesia will fuse herself with Mirror Jade to make Grenguinol. Little Knight will whiff. Mirror Jade will then banish Little Knight. Little Knight initial effect then whiffs. Grenguinol will send away Albion, the fusion monster. Player activates Salaman Great Sanctuary. Activates Foxy effect. Mercurier will chain. Courier negating Foxy. Salamangrate pairs board wide open except for the field spell. Activates Fusion Duplication, which will activate branded fusion from the graveyard, using Lubellion and Albaz for a new Mirror Jade. Blazing Cartesia effect puts herself back in the hand. Albion effect, add branded and white to hand. Rindbrim effect, put Fall of Albaz on the board, banish itself. Branded player. Blazing Cartesia effect. Summon herself for having Fall of Albaz. Lethal on board. Swing Mirror Jade. Swing Grenguinol. Swing Cartesia. And Quem for game. Victory for the brand.
Manchuria Runic. Opponent on Labyrinth summons Ariana, adding Scoby Torby. Use Scoby Torby effect, pitching itself and Ariana. Set Big Welcome Labyrinth. Set three more, four back row total. Pass turn. Manchuria player draws for turn. Opponent activates Power Sink Stone. Each time a monster effect is activated, put a spell stone counter on it. When it has two counters, neither player can activate the effects of face-up monsters on the field and negate the effects of face-up monsters on the field. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card has any spell stone counters, remove them. What a strange card. Duelist A activates Runic Slumber. Labyrinth player activates Welcome Labyrinth in response. Welcome Labyrinth, summoning the Lady Labyrinth. Slumber, summoning Hugin. Hugin's effect will activate, pitching Runic Sacred Tree. Not Runic Sacred Tree. Naturia Sacred Tree. Its effect will inactivate for being pitched, which will then let them add a Naturia card from deck to hand, except Sacred Tree. And also Hugin's effect got them Runic Fountain. They add Naturia Blessing. It's in the standby phase still. Summon Naturia Camellia. Big Welcome Labyrinth will chain. Lady Labyrinth will chain to Big Welcome. Lady Labyrinth sets Compulsory Evacuation Device. And two counters have now been placed upon the Power Sink Stone. So monsters do not have effects. And then Ariana is returned to the hand, and Arias, the Labyrinth Butler, is summoned in his place. Melee's effect is negated. Stovey Torby in the Grave will summon itself back for a trap for bouncing a monster. Runic Fountain is activated. Trap Trick is activated in response to the Fountain. Trap Trick, send away Dogmatic of Punishment, setting a new one. Activates that Dogmatic of Punishment, targeting Hugin, send away Entis. Hugin's effect, when it was destroyed, will put it back in the extra deck. Entis effect, when it went to Graveyard, target Runic Fountain to destroy that. Player activates Runic Destruction, targeting the set Compulsory Reactivation Device, banishing four. Then activates Naturia Blessing, letting them summon the Naturia Sunflower in their hand. Sinks the two monsters on board for Coral Dragon. Sets another Naturia Blessing. Their battle phase is skipped thanks to runic cards. And then the counters are removed from the Power Sink Stone. Passing turn. Labyrinth player turn. Activate Naturia Blessing during the standby phase. Summon back Camellia. Camellia effect. Send away a Sacred Tree. Sacred Tree effect. Getting Mole Cricket. Opponent's turn. Monster to attack mode. Butler swings over Coral Dragon. It was sent to Graveyard, so they get to draw a card. Lady, Lady Labyrinth then swings over Camellia, and this is just the card they need off the top, getting an evenly matched. Not activating it, though. Why? During the end step, Power Sing still in the loop. Remove its counters. Stovey Torby and Ariana will be sent to Graveyard, allowing the player to set a Labyrinth setup. Passes turn. The Chair player moves to battle, ends the battle, activates evenly matched. Lady Labyrinth will chain to set one normal trap from the deck, setting a big welcome. Evenly matched will then send away everything except for Power Sing Stone. The player summons Mole Cricket. Power Sing Stone has to remove its units. Passes turn. The player summons Ariana. Mole Cricket will chain, tributing itself. Summons Camellia and a new Mole Cricket. Ariana adds Arias. Moves to battle. Ariana swings over the new Camellia. Labyrinth player sets one. Power Sink Stone does the thing. Player draws Smiting Storm. Summon Camellia. Camellia send away Sacred Tree. Tree effect. Add Naturia Blessing. Sink their monsters together. For Naturia Beast. When did you get an animation? Mole Cricket was in, in the graveyard. Summons itself. Moves to battle. Swings. Opponent will banish Big Welcome to bounce Ariana. Stovey Torby and Welcome Labyrinth will activate from the grave due to a monster leaving the field by a trap. Welcome will set itself. Stovey Torby will summon himself. Beast swings over the Stovey. Sets a card. Opponent activates Trap Trick. Sending away Destructive Daruma Cannon. Sets a new one. 
And Duelist B, I'm going to assume, lost due to time. Sure did. Alright, let's see if this next match actually ends. Oh good god, it's Runic Stun. Opponent activates Nadir Servant, send away Garura, adding Ecclesia. Garura says draw a card. Summons Barrier Statue of Drought, sets one passes. Oh god, it's Stun Mirror. Not Mirror, but Stun Stun. Player activates Time Tearing Morganite. Opponent activates Solemn Judgment. Morganite negated. Imperm is activated, targeting the Drought. Activates Runic Dispelling, summoning Hugin after negating Drought's effect. Hugin, pitch Imperm, get the Fountain. Activate the Fountain. Sets one. Links away, Hugin. For Gravity Controller. Battle phase was skipped. Passes turn. What are you doing with Controller? Can't be destroyed unless it's by a monster in the extra monster zone. And at start of the damage step, card battles a monster in the opponent's extra monster zone that can return both cards to the deck. Alright. Player activates Necro Valley, summon Ecclesia. Ecclesia add Dogmatic and Punishment. Activate Raigeki. Bzz. Goodbye, controller. Activate the Pot of Prosperity, banish six. Add Decisive Battle of Golgonda. Activates Decisive Battle. Moves to battle. Swing with Ecclesia and the Barrier Statue Drought. Half damage thanks to Pot of Prosperity. Sets another card. Passes. Summons Inspector Border. Opponent activates Dogmatic and Punishment. Runic Golden Droplet will chain. Letting the player draw four. Draw one to banish four. Entis is sent away. Runic Fountain Effect, targeting two. And his effect, targeting the set card. Should have targeted the fountain. Pops the Flashing Fire that was set. Fountain is negated because its effect targets the graveyard. I was wrong. Necro Valley handles that on its own. I believe Duelist B is going to wrap this up slow style. Activates Feather Duster. Getting rid of that fountain just in case. Summons Jaugen the Spiritualist. You're disgusting. Swings with all their monsters. Past turn. Player sets Rivalry of Warlords. Past turn. Summons another Jaugen. Activates Rivalry. Declares Spellcasters the card they will keep. Keeping their Jaugens and Ecclesia. Swings with all their monsters. Still not dead. Past turn. Draws Fossil Dyna Pachycephala, which they summon. The battle phase is still skipped because Runic only cares if you remember to actually go to the battle phase. So remember to do that. Pass turn. Opponent sets a monster. Ecclesia swings over Pachycephalo. The Jao Gins will go direct. They pass. Player draws Runic Tip. Activates it. Getting Runic Destruction. Opponent was also running Pachycephalo. Activates Destruction, targeting Necro Valley. Golgonda will send away an extra deck monster to protect Necro Valley, which was Titanoclad, which will add another Ecclesia to the hand. Pass turn. Summon that Ecclesia. Adds the third Dogmatic and Punishment. Move to battle. Swing. And finally game. Eleven turns of Bloodgate Stun Mirror. I mean, they're only mirror in name. They were running completely different packages. Not completely different, because they both run Pachycephalo. But you get it. Ubel. Opponent sets two and passes. Player draws Sharvara. 
Activate Pyrirez map. Getting Beckoning Beast. Have the life points. Summon the beast. The beast adds opening of the spirit gate. Activate the spirit gate. Spirit gate add another beast. Activate the Nightmare Throne. Getting Spirit of You Bell to hand. Spirit of You Bell return to the deck, as is Beckoning Beast to summon Phantom of You Bell. Dark Beckoning Beast allowing the additional summon of Samsara D Lotus. Upon activates Runic Freezing Curses. Targeting Phantom. Unchained Soul of Sharvara will chain, targeting Phantom as well. Top the Phantom summons itself. Freezing Curses misses target. Nightmare Throne will then activate. Max C will chain. Maybe should have done that sooner. Spirit of You Bell is added. Opponent activates Super Poly, pitching Prayers of the Voiceless, using Samsara D and Dark Beckoning Beast, making Garura. You Bell player passes turn. Duelist B draws, activates Barrier of the Voiceless, which will add Low. Summon Low, Low Effect. Placing Radiance of the Voiceless face up in the zone. They'll return a card from Grave. And then they get to add another card. The card they added is Sephira, Dragon Queen of the Voiceless Voice. Uses her effect, pitching herself. Send away Prayers of the Voiceless to add Skull Guardian, Protector of the Voiceless. Sephira effect, Banish Self, Tribute Low. Allowing for the technical ritual summon of Skull Guardian. Skull Guardian effect. Low will chain because a light ritual monster was special summoned. Low comes back to the field. Skull Guardian add Saravis, Dragon Sage of the Voiceless. And then return some cards from the deck, not the deck, the graveyard to the deck to special summon Saravis. And then Saravis and Garura will make SP Little Knight. Little Knight effect, target the spirit gates. Garura went to grave, its effect will activate and draw a card. Spirit Gates is banished. Player sets one. Battle phase is skipped, though, thanks to them trying to activate a Runic card. Passing turn. Effect Veiler is drawn. Activates Pyrores map. Adding Samsara D. Go down to 2,000 life points. Return Beckoning Beast from Grave and Spirit of Yubel from hand to summon Phantom. Summon Samsara D. Tribute it to summon a Spirit of Yubel. Spirit of Yubel effect. Little Knight will chain. Phantom will chain, tributing itself to negate Little Knight. Called by the Grave activates, targeting Phantom of Yubel. Called by will resolve, which means Phantom will not resolve. Nightmare Pain is set by the Spirit of Yubel. Gruesome Grave Squirm will activate, attempting to summon itself. Radiance of the Voiceless will target the set card of Nightmare Pain, destroy it and itself. Grave Squirm is now summoned, popping you Bell. Spirit of you Bell is popped. Its effect will activate, and Nightmare Throne will chain. Nightmare Throne, add Terra Incarnate, and then summon it. Spirit of you Bell, summon you Bell. Both you Bells will then link together, making Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. The two you Bells that were just in the grave will then fuse into a new Phantom of you Bell, and then. Lord of Yama, and the Grave Squirmer will make Unchained Soul of Anguish. Anguish will activate, attempting to fuse itself, not fuse, Link Summon, using itself and Little Knight as material. Skull Guardian will chain, because they control a low that can negate the activation and destroy Anguish. Anguish go away. Anguish was then destroyed, it targets Spirit of You Bell. Soul Lord of Yama will banish itself, because the card was destroyed, to special summon a fiend. Brings back the Anguish, and Anguish adds Spirit of You Bell back to hand. Grave Squirmer effect, banish itself from the graveyard, special out Spirit of You Bell. Spirit of You Bell and Sharvara will then link together, make Nightmare Phoenix. Sharvara effect, went to graveyard, that'll activate. Phoenix, pitch the effect veiler to pop the continuous voiceless card. Sharvara, set Escape of the Unchained. All of their monsters then link together. Make access code talker. Access code, target anguish, gain 3000 attack points. Banish Phoenix. Pop the Skull Guardian. Banish anguish. Pop Little Knight. Move to battle. Swing over low. 
opponent will pass the turn. Back to Duelist B. Draws for turn. Two cards in hand. Activates Bestial Magnumut. Banishing Phantom of Yu Bell to summon itself. Its effect will activate to then resolve in the end step. Then Bestial Magnumut will be used as solo material for Typhon. Typhon effect. Detaching one material. Bouncing access code. Then swing the face. And face is the place. Duelist B will take it. Not too bad. But we are going to do a short one this week, as we do many weeks. Not the point. But not overall, some pretty enjoyable matches. And keeping it short means less mirror matches, or continuing to just see the same decks over and over and over and over. But that'll be the end of this week's installment of Master Duel Monday. Watch and learn. If you caught the stream, thanks. Catch the replay. Thanks for that, too. Bye.